here in Tail City, Indiana. This hospital used to be called Perry County Memorial Hospital. We're going to do an exploration here. Let me know if you hear any disembodied voices or see any shadow figures. So without further ado, let's start this investigation to see if this place is haunted. Check this out. This is, used to be the Perry County Memorial Hospital. You can see all the water damage and everything. That pipe's about to burst. We're gonna walk this way. First, what we're gonna do is to walk through to make sure we're in a clear, we're in a clear, we're in a clear before we start like an EVP session or something like that. There's any spirits in this hospital. You can speak into my camera. I will be able to hear you. Which way you want to go, left or right? Left. Careful. Medical Imaging Director. Did you say something?
I heard a voice. Are you trying to communicate with me? That could be rain dropping from the ceiling. Or it could be whispers. I have to play that back to make sure. Excuse me. that A lot of stuff left behind. The smell is horrendous in here. So far to me this looks like just to be a wine floor hospital unless there's a upstairs.
We are here around 11 o'clock at night. There is upstairs. There's nearly enough stairs. There's nearly enough stairs. There's nearly enough stairs. Whoa, there's a voice. Hey, uh, Merlin. Come here. Mm -hmm. Stay with me. I don't want you to get hurt. There's gonna be any humans in here. It's upstairs. The front is to the basement. Or seems sturdy enough. I believe it has a basement too. Pretty sure of it. This is spooky. You want to do the honest and open that door? And I popped it open just in case. That way. There we go. Just to be on the safe side, I got that propped open just in case we won't get locked in. Holy shit. Hello? Maybe just the wind. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> There's something in that room. Sure. 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 Hello? Can you say hello back, please? You heard that, right? Yeah. I said, hmm. <clears throat> I'll come in peace. What the heck is that? Do you see that? Right there. What the hell? Is my eyes playing tricks on me or what? But you heard that, mm-hmm. You heard that. It was like a female. Hello? Can you tell me your name, please? So that was nothing, that was like a star fall. I thought it was like a human standing there or something.
There's a spirit in here. Make your presence known. Can you slam a door, please? The door in front of me, can you slam that door? To let me know that you're here. I'll be scared shitless if it actually slammed. <laughs> and excitement at the same time. I'm just so happy I found this location. Hello? So we already heard a disembodied voice here. <laughs> Sound like a female spirit. It just got quiet. Hello? Can you make a noise? Scene. Okay, from over here. Thank you. I think we'll be good here to do a spirit box session because I don't see any humans in here. That's what I always check first before I do a spirit box session in a big place. water that's the wind yeah that's the wind blowing it
Let's see a spot. Currently 11.34 p.m. I am on the second floor. I'm going to use my S-Box. I'm not going to connect it to the portal box today. Just in case if we would have to, you know, run out of here if there's any other humans that are trying to hurt us because there could be people that other people that roams in here that could hurt us so that's why I'm not using the portal box I'm just using this separately to be on the safe side we're gonna see what we could what kind of EVPs we could get here on the second floor my name is Dylan this is Merlin is there any spirits here that would like to communicate here on the second floor? Can you say hello? Hello. How did you pass away? Can you tell me? Did you say heart attack? How many spirits are in this hospital? They just say 32 or 22. When did this hospital become abandoned? Can you tell me? Like, what year did it become abandoned? Can you tell me your story, please? Did the doctors treat you well here when you were a patient? Good. 
They just said a doctor was bad. Hold on. Hello? Is that you walking around? Yeah, it's me. It's Alex. Alex, are you here with us walking around in there? Hello? Got it. What did this area is to be? Can you tell me? Oh wow, this door's heavy. So you're all inside. It's not that much in here. Do you have any more messages you would like to give out? So this is pretty much the second floor. Yeah, so bottom floor we're gonna go to. You heard that? Yeah. Hello? It was real deep too, wasn't it? I got cold chills. Can you say that again? Can you knock for us? We're ready to go to the bottom floor, which is the basement. I believe it's the basement.
And one more feet down here. Sounds like it's flooded down there. Yep, this is the thing. Is that you? No. Hello? Watch your steps, there could be holes in the floor. We got to hurt. Get out of here. Sounded just like that. We're not afraid. That's slippery. That's not safe to go on there. We show no fear. Christmas stuff. <laughs> it's Christmas tree. Yo. This is awesome. That's outside. There's like pictures. Let's walk this way. Sir.
Smells bad in there. Oh, oh. Oop, there was something on fire. I was tripped over. This is so cool. I like this. So fun. I heard that. It said, mmm. It's like a whipper. It's a bulk here. It's like the product description, so all that. That's like the prices of it. That's back in 2003. Interesting. Huh. What's in there? Just a room. Hmm. Or the same thing in room two. Ooh, my camera just got blurry. Might have picked up a spirit. I'll be careful. This is a single room. Okay. That floor doesn't look safe at all. Uh, let's squeeze. Do a loop de loop. <laughs> Circling around. Uh-huh, there's a hole in the ceiling on the first floor. So this is the basement. Any spirits down there in the basement would like to communicate with me tonight? What's your name?
Yeah, I'm recording. Here you are. That's outside. Do you have any messages you'd like to give out tonight? Go ahead. Thank you for communicating with me. Can you say goodbye? Amazing place. Alrighty, the spare stat we were hearing, and I heard a male voice earlier before I started recording. Joey picked it up. Are you still here with us? Whoa. Yo, yo. I heard a voice in there. Was that you? It's okay. Can you do it again? Can you walk up the steps? You hear footsteps? We're not afraid. Finish this knock. I want to redo that again because I think you finished it. Ready? Three, two, one. Finish the knock. Are you moving that? Can you move it again?
This is where I heard the female. My name is Joey, and I want to be a nurse a few years ago. Can you light up this K2? I'm also going to turn on a spirit talker. Look, 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 you get it? Hold on. Debugged. Cell phone. Cell phone was causing that. See it? Cell phone was causing that. Mm -hmm. That was a debug. Turning on the spare talker now. Can you walk towards this K2 meter, please? Hello? I feel your energy. I can feel you walking towards me. I'm like getting cold chills right now. My hair is standing up. You can see goosebumps right here. Look at that. Goosebumps. But yeah, I am an empath. That's what that's one of my gifts that I'm learning and I'm slowly try to figure out I need out, more energy. I'm slowly trying to figure out how to use it to my full potential, but I'm getting closer to actually using it to my full potential. But I feel what other spirits felt when they were alive. And like I said earlier, I felt like my chin was hurting, like something happened during surgery. Like around here, maybe they had lung cancer around that area. Did you have lung cancer? You could talk to me. I will not be scared if you reply. How did you die? John. You make a noise? You do not have to be afraid of us. I'm here to communicate with you. 
And I would like for you to communicate with me. I'm feeling something. I'm emotional. Are you making me feel emotional right now? Are you lonely? I could be your friend. I could be your friend. Is there anything you'd like to say? You can say it now. Is that you? Of course, that could be the wind. Nope, that was not the wind. Tell I will show. Hello? Oh shit, that scared me. Anybody in this elevator? from that way and that way we got she killed i live on deep john i need more energy and i am a child that, way. that could be the wind creating that too Me. Feel like the wind. Hold on. So it's like a wind gap here, but it could be from the open windows too.
Do you touch this K2? Excellent. Attractive. Do you find me attractive? Do you find both of us attractive? Ooh, I just got touched. Did you touch me? It's like cold in here. Did you touch me? Okay, yes. How's my stomach? Hiding in the dark. You're hiding in the dark? Did you hear yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes. Can you say that again? First place? You okay? You feeling something? Yeah. What 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 you feeling? Give me a second. I'm here to communicate with you all. Four. Were you poor when you were alive? You can come close to me. It's okay. Speak loud as you can so your voice can heard. So your voice can be heard. Are you here with us? My name is Dylan. Dylan Terrence is my name. His is Joey Horton. We are friendly people. We mean no harm and no disrespect. We only came here tonight to communicate with you. I've been here before. This is his first time here to see you all. I would love to meet y'all or he'll. Struggling. Are you struggling to communicate with us?
if you need energy, you could take some from me, but not all. I gave you permission to take some of my energy, but not all. It just light up. Did you get that? <laughs> hear us whisper. That's what I'm trying to do is hear you all whisper. I'm going to move to another area. Feels like they um moved. Share my story. Alrighty. Share your story. You can tell your story onto the camera. It's recording. We're going to be really quiet and you can tell your story. Speak loud as you can and my camera can pick it up. Please and thank you. Go ahead whenever you're ready. We would like to hear your story. Disaster. Repeat this knock or finish that knock. Finish this knock here. So much going on over here. I don't feel nothing in this area. Worship. Was that you? Mm. Huh? It's ancient. Can you shut one of those doors? We gotta go down that way. It's, it seems like it's calling. Kind of like the hallway. There's broken glass here, so be careful.
Ready? Yes. Yes, that's after all, yes, Martin. Medicare and all your rights. If you're on Medicare, you have the right to request immediate advocacy if you have an immediate concern. Stay in the appropriate healthcare setting until it is medically safe to leave. Receive good quality healthcare. Did it say burn? Yes, it said burn. We might be close to the, the burn unit. If they have one. Is that you? Yeah, it's just, just the dunk glass. I didn't see. Must be the nurse's station right here. I kind of want to go down there. Where? I kind of want to go that way. I hear that noise. Scared the shit out of me. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Debunk. Video. Video. Yes, you're on video. Look at these results. that y'all and I saw something right there can you show yourself again for us please thank you for showing yourself and I'm sorry I'm not afraid I'm not afraid it just startled me it just startled me I'm learning my gift So I can see a little bit of spirits too, but not fully. And I'm learning my gift. And I saw something over there when he was in there. I'm not scared. It's just that never happened before. Are you walking behind us? You are dead. 
unfortunately. Ooh, I got coaches. I'll move something. You will move something. What are you going to move? Remove. Remove. Wendy. Is that your name? I think it's in Wendy. Yes, it's Wendy outside. Very windy. These are one of the rooms. And it says Rogan. Was a physician, nurse, Stacy, patient care assistant, sheriff. That was May twenty first, two thousand fifteen. Yep, point the camera right there. Perry County Memorial Hospital. Matthew. Matthew. Is that one of y'all's names? My name is Dylan. My name is Joey. Are you here to protect us? What was that? It's okay to communicate with us. Stay right here. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to clear everything, like my mind. And get like a better open mind set. Oh, 
Raum gehst. Footsteps. Settlement. Did you hear footsteps? Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you hear those footsteps on voice? I heard you. You did a great job. I'm here to communicate with you. Can you talk to me? Walk over towards me. There's three of us. Awesome. Come towards me. I'm right here. Talk to me. Um, right here over there. Anna. Was that you, Anna? Position myself like over here, you know, like trying to concentrate and focus on everything. We hear like footsteps, noises, stuff like that. Stay right there and be about. Go over there, go over there, go over there. Go that way. That's it. I got hardcore cold chills. No, no, that one right there. Hello? You heard that too, right? <laughs> My camera picked it up. Hello? Is that you? That's a female. I'm closer. It's not, I think it said my name. Did you say my name? My name is Dylan. There's the blinds there. But I heard my name. Be careful. That was trippy. But cool. Hopefully my camera picks it up. We gotta figure out the way back because we gotta get a new video light.
got a lot of that. Destroy. Oh shit. I almost tripped on that. You, you got nails. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's dangerous. So I remember about the steps. Lungs. Did I just mention something about me feeling lungs in this area? I just mentioned something about me feeling about hurting in my lungs like in this area. And the spirit talker just said lungs. Remove. What did it say? It seemed like it said remove. Yep, it said remove twice. What are you trying to remove? Did they remove your lungs? Stay close by me, please. This way, because I remember we're there that way, so we go this way, yes. And if we already went through there. Sick frequent. I remember that section. Seventies. So this was in a live stream 
where the K2 meter was going off. It's not make the camera's not making it do it. So the phone probably could have made it go off in that live stream. Basement first and second floor. Alright, so I got the video light changed and we are going to go on the first floor since we already she pushed. She pushed? Did she push me earlier when we were investigating this hospital? Is that why she yelled my name Dylan? I think that's what she probably said. But uh, we're going to go on the first floor and explore the first floor, show you all around it. And we're going to do a little bit of dowsing rod session. See if we can get some communication with that. So we're gonna go to the first floor. Where's this tree? Random chair. <laughs> Watching it, this stuff hanging. Did you say something? Mm -mm. Hello? It was a male. Ooh, sorry to that. <laughs> oh, oh, hell. Oh my gosh, really? I heard you again. Did I scare you? No, you did not scare me, but I heard you. Thank you. <laughs> um, this right here, at first sight, you might think it's blood, but it's not blood, it's just rust. All this is just rust, mold, paint peeling. Glass damage from, you know, people. Or it could be just broken down building. But it's a beautiful building though. It is. We're gonna go squeeze through in here. Show me our way through here. So it's, abandoned. it's abandoned. Let me see that. I did not go in here yet. So what? Let me say medical records. Medical records. Okay. Maybe sure. <laughs> so I have not showed you all this area yet in my last video. So I'm gonna show you this area. Ooh, my foot. Ah, that was a wire that I just got jabbed in my foot. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, hold on. Movement. That's the win. Let's keep going. So we're on the first floor and we're gonna do the thousand rods. You see all the like oh careful. You okay? Yes. Okay. What are these called? Something about Insulation, yes. All this is like insulation. Part to the ceiling. There's like this um, HP laser jet. Children. Enterprise. 400.
They might have moved, moved it all, all the way close. I've missed talking. You can still talk. Nothing over there. I'm getting like a stomach pain. And then a headache again. Am I feeling your pain? Do you die from a stomach cancer or from a brain tumor? You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Sorry. <laughs> this is a flying... I'm agitated. Why are you agitated? Hopefully it's nothing we did because we come here at peace. Me no harm, no disrespect. We came here to communicate with you. It's much warmer down here. It is. I think I think here a very of all the papers. Yeah. I want to lay this here. And I'm gonna get the thousand grams out. You worked here? Are you trying to communicate with me, Stacy? With me and Joy? There's any spirits in here? Can you straighten the rods, please? Drain the rods. Fatal. Can you straighten out the rods? We're getting close. Thank you. What is your yes answer? Can you tell me? I feel like a tingling sensation on my left hand. Can you straighten out the rods again? Straighten out the rods. We can start asking questions. All right, so the right is yes, the left is no. Did Nurse Stacy used to work here? Yes. Were you treated by her? As a patient, no.
now. Were you treated by some other nurse? Yes. So, the spirit that I'm communicating with right now was not treated by the nurse Stacy that we saw on a second floor. The spirit was treated by a nurse that used to work here. How old were you? When you passed away, were you, once I get to the age group, make it say, half the rods go to yes, once I get to the correct age group, okay? 10, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. 60s. Passed away when he or she was 60. Are you a male or a female spirit that I'm communicating with right now? If you are a male, say yes or no. Are you a male? No. Are you a female? Yes. Female in her 60s. Once I get to the correct number, have it go to yes, okay? Three, two, one. Here we go. 60. 61. 62. 63. 64. 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 69. Did you pass away when you were 69 years old? Yes. Whoa, I've been around. Female spirit that I've just now communicated with. Can you say hello? My name is Dylan. It was very faint. Can you say it again? It was nice talking to y'all. You all must stay here. You cannot follow. You cannot follow us home. You must stay here at this building. You cannot attach yourselves to us. Whatever energy you took from me to communicate with us tonight, you cannot Keep draining. I will not give you no more permission to use my energy. No more permission to use my energy at all. And again, you must stay here. You cannot follow, you cannot attach, you cannot possess.
I respect you. You respect us. And I respect y'all. We mean no harm, no disrespect. We were just here tonight to communicate. You cannot attack us. You cannot hurt us. You have to stay here. Do not even attach yourself to the truck. Do not drain his energy, Joey's energy. Do not drain my energy. You all have a good night, good day. I will see you next time in the future if this building is still standing. Look. I would love to still communicate with you in the future because you all are awesome. Look at the juice. Okay? But you must stay here and cannot follow us home. Rest in peace. We are sorry uh, that you died here. From an illness, sickness, sorcery. We just investigated, returned to the Perry County Memorial Hospital. Alrighty, everyone. This has been KBE Paranormal, and this concludes this investigation here at this abandoned hospital, which was the Perry County Memorial Hospital. We heard some disembodied voices. We heard a female and a male spirit here. There was some great activity here. It was pretty active tonight. Let me know what you all think about this video. Make sure to leave a like, share this video out. KPE Paranormal, love and peace.